Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, I've got a film review. It's a film I watched the other night and uh, I thought I'd do a quick review about it, really. And that film in question is Curse of Chucky. Now, Curse of Chucky, uh, you can probably tell by the title, really. It's got the main star of Child's Play, uh, Bride of Chucky, Seed of Chucky, anything that has Chucky in it and it's not the little character from the Rugrats. Oh no, this is the red-haired dungarees wearing, knife-wielding, uh, serial killer uh, that is Chucky himself. Now, Curse of Chucky is a 2013 version of the horror franchise. It is the latest one in the instalment of uh, anything with his titled name towards it. Uh, Curse of Chucky pretty much starts out with um, a lady in a wheelchair who's living with a mum and her mum mysteriously dies. It's not really a spoiler, you don't know who it is. Um, and she just mysteriously dies. And uh, yeah, I think uh, the way she died was that she fell over the railing of a balcony, uh, over the stairs. That's how she died, and uh, the woman in the wheelchair, her daughter, found her at the bottom of the stairs, uh, covered in blood. So there's a bit of mystery surrounding the death of her mum. After the funeral, uh, a doll is sent to uh, to the lady, the daughter in the wheelchair. She doesn't know who it's come from, where it's come from. Uh, it's just a package of a doll, a good guy doll, that has mysteriously turned up on her doorstep. Pretty strange really. You know, a package that appears on your doorstep that you haven't ordered. Pretty odd and strange. As the funeral approaches of the recently deceased mother, uh, this daughter who's in the wheelchair, her family, the rest of her family come and visit. Uh, it's her sister, her niece, her brother-in-law, the priest who delivers the sermon, and uh, the babysitter, the living babysitter. Uh, they all come and visit, obviously, pay their last respects to their mum. Uh, the doll is given to the niece. Why you'd give a good guy doll that had a lot of mysterious deaths and uh, destruction around it, why would you give it to your niece? God only knows. But I suppose it's part of the story, so the niece had to have the doll. While the niece and uh, the rest of the family are visiting, there's a family argument between uh, the girl in the wheelchair and uh, the sister. So the two sisters are fighting over the house. There's a big house that the mum died in, uh, that the, the daughter lives in. And they're trying to sell it, trying to get some money out of it. It's a bit of a sick, twisted uh, sister who's trying to get money from a disabled sister. It's, you know, that's a bit of a harsh storyline. But while the arguments are going on, the uh, the niece is playing with Chucky. And at this point, as the viewer, you don't know if Chucky is alive, if he's playing games with a girl, um, if it's the girl that's playing with Chucky. You don't really know. And on several occasions, Chucky decides to go missing. He's, uh, he should be on the sofa when he's in, in the bathroom. He's not in places where he should be, which is a typical uh, motion of Chucky, really. And then things kind of get interesting. He decides to poison or um, try and kill one of uh, the members of the family. You don't know which one it is because they're all having the same bowl of what I suspect was soup. Uh, he just pours a load of poison in, you don't know which one it is. Then they play a bit of Russian roulette, the camera's going round each member of the family while they're eating this soup. There's the odd good death. The priest, not going to lie, he dies. Um, he dies a bit of a gruesome death. Uh, the babysitter, she kicks it, which is pretty interesting. Um, there's a bit of a love triangle going on that you don't suspect. But overall, Curse of Chucky, made in 2013, so it was last year's film, it's not a great film. Um, I like all the horror, all the action, um, all the suspense of when Chucky's going to come to life and start killing people. Um, I like all that. However, Curse of Chucky, I think, was a bit of a letdown. It's not a good film that is recognised as part of the franchise. It's just a bit of an add-on. The death scenes aren't very uh, horrific and gruesome enough that have uh, been well known in previous Chucky films. Honestly, I don't think it's a great film. It, I, even though I'm a fan of this stuff, I still think 
that Curse of Chucky didn't hold its end of the bargain. You've got other previous Seed of Chucky, Bride of Chucky, uh, Child's Play films. They're alright, they're a bit gruesome. However, this one is not, and it's a bit of a letdown, really, which is a shame. However, I thought I'd uh, watch it, give it a go, give it a chance, and uh, I thought I'd do a review about it, really. So, there was my pretty quick review of Curse of Chucky. Um, I hope you like it. If you're a fan of Chucky, then you, you'll probably enjoy it. However, I'm a fan of Chucky, and I did not enjoy it. I thought the film was a bit of a letdown, really. But, each to their own. If you like it, fair play to you. I hope you like my review. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget, guys, check out We The Devoted. Links are down below, as per usual. Use Toby WTD gets you 20% off any We The Devoted items. Links down below, as per usual. But, guys, thanks for watching my review of Curse of Chucky. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching.